What up, IDS Mob? Harry Wilmington here. Welcome to Harry Dating Conversations. And today's show, I want to answer a question I saw on Reddit, which is, what's the best dating advice you've ever received? So this guy said, I've been reflecting a lot on dating lately and realized that there's so much advice out there, it's overwhelming. So I wanted to ask, what's the best piece of dating advice you've ever received, whether it's something about communication, confidence, or even dealing with rejection? I'm sure we all have some golden nuggets. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So back in the day, I was a horrible dater. I wasn't that great. And I always got confused by the things women were saying and doing because they may say, for example, oh, I want to go out on a date with you, Harry. But then they'd be late. They'd be flaking. They'd give excuses last minute like, oh, something came up or, oh, I'm just so busy or, oh, my dog died or whatever, right? And so early on, I was a bad dater and I was trying to figure out how to be better at it. I started reading guys like David D'Angelo, going to forums at like soswab.net where I could talk with other guys about problems they were having and how to fix them. But of course, the the end-all be-all great that I followed was Doc Love. He, he died in 2020, but he was giving dating advice for years on end. And what he would do was simple. He would ask, he would, he would interview tons of women and ask them, what made you fall in love with one guy versus the other? Because ask women directly, what do you want in a guy? Usually you get BS answers that are politically correct and sound good but don't actually help me. And so he would ask women instead, what was it about the guys you actually fell for that you liked? And he got a better answer. And so I read a lot of this stuff over the years. He had a lot of great advice, even though he's passed. Uh, the person that works with him, Jeff, still puts out weekly articles from Doc Love's archives and shows. But of all the advice that Doc Love ever gave, the one piece of advice that I found has been true time and time again is this is that high interest level cuts everything. That's it. Like, there's variations of that advice out there. You know, like, oh, yeah, if a woman wants to see you, then she'll make time for you. And, oh, if she's, if she's flaking, she doesn't really like you. And it all boils down to if a woman has high interest, she's going to show you all the signs in the world that she likes you, that she wants you to spend time with her. She's going to be accepting your kisses. She's going to be accepting your text. She's going to be saying yes to dates with no hesitation. When you ask her for the phone number, she's going to immediately grab your phone and put it right in, in your phone to make sure that you have it. And then also put down like her email address or address and all this other stuff. On the other hand, you have women that have little to no interest or low interest. And those are the women that will consistently make excuses. They may say yes to a date begrudgingly. And then last minute, something's always going to come up. They're the ones that, oh, just my life is so busy. And all of a sudden, even though you met me on a dating site, I'm just too busy all of a sudden to date and things just came out of nowhere. High interested women that are busy have always found time to, to make with me, to date me. That's just real talk. And so I think it's an important, it's probably one of the most important lessons that you as a guy could ever possibly learn in the dating space. Because if you're confused about the things women are saying to you, their actions, what they're doing, why they did deflect on you or started going ghost on you, or why they maybe they were treating you really great in the beginning and now they're treating you as less than, I found that the all-encompassing advice of high interest level cutting everything really clears out about like 85% of confusion you will ever have as it pertains to women and relationships. For example, you got a female friend that you met, right? Or you got a female that you met, and on the college campus or the job, and you guys are like talking every day. Maybe people around you are starting to think like, oh my God, they talk so much. It already feels like they're in a relationship. And you're not sure if this actually means that she also thinks that same way. How can you tell if she really, really likes you? Well, the simple way, you go up to her and you ask for a date. Hey, so-and-so, so we should go to a movie. We should go to a dinner. And now she responds back with, that sounds great. You know what? I'll let you know later. And now you're confused. Does this mean that she actually wants to go on a date? Does it mean that she really needs to check her calendar? Or does it mean that she's just trying to give you a nice gentle blow off, but she doesn't want to do that up front because she knows how guys are and our egos and blah, blah, blah. Ask yourself the question, what would a highly interested woman do if I asked her on a date? Would she be like, I'm not so great. Oh my God, I got to check with you later and let you know. Or would she be like, oh my God, my calendar is already clear for Tuesday and Wednesday at this time, such as time. Here's my number. Send me the plans and I'll be, I'd love to go. Which reaction do you think a high interested woman would actually have? And so if you're a smart man, you're going to say the second one, the one that's like, as soon as you ask, she's eager. In my life, I've had enough dating experiences to experience the difference between going out with a woman when I say, hey, let's go to like 
IHOP. And she's like, yes, right away, let's do it. And a woman that's like, hey, well, you know, I mean, I don't know. I mean, oh, I got to check. You know, I got to see. I don't know what my schedule looks like. Oh, I got to. And the problem with guys is because we don't always get as many chances as women do to meet our significant other, we assume any kind of answer that leans towards potentially possibly getting a yes for a date is an automatic yes. So we fall for if a woman says, well, maybe we can go out or, well, I'll let you know later. Because that all sounds good. That all sounds like it's gearing towards something positive. We take that as, okay, it's a yes. She's already interested. I'm going to go ahead and start looking up places. But again, I ask you, if you were to ask a woman that was highly interested out on a date, how would she respond? And this can be one of those lessons that's initially hard for guys to get because we don't want to we don't want to sort of break the glass, so to speak. Like at the point that you know some of the things that I'm teaching you or that I've told you that Doc Love taught about, there's this thing where like you're going to start to see all the rejections you actually get and your ego may not be able to take that. Like for example, if I were to tell you that any time a woman says to you, maybe we can go out, it's automatically a no. Now you're going to think back on all the times that women said maybe to you. And then as you go forth in your dating life, Anytime you hear a maybe, you're going to automatically know that a maybe is a no. And if you're thinking in advance, like, I, I've already had a lot of women say maybe to me that didn't go out with me, and I'm going to have more. Oh, my God, I don't want to know this. It can be very a very harrowing experience for our egos to have to admit that a lot of women are saying no to us, okay? So now I'm telling you, like, Doc Love, I learned from Doc Love, which is high hit to sell because everything. Anytime a woman is not highly enthusiastic to say yes to a date, Anytime she's flaking, anytime she's making up excuses to not plot with you, that those aren't leading towards yes, it's actually no. Now, you're going to go out there and anytime you ask a woman on a date and she doesn't like give you a right away yes, you're going to still want to be thinking, well, I, I know Harry said that that if it's not enthusiastic, then it's a no, but, but it could still potentially be. And that's the hard part. It's not that the knowledge is hard. It's that our brains, our ego really, really, really doesn't want to have to accept that we're going to be able to see the amount of negative no's we're going to actually get from women from now on as a result of this knowledge. But I found that the sooner I was able to accept that knowledge, that high interest level cuts everything, and that women that are highly interested will always give me clear signals. Like, women that are highly interested always give green flags. There is no yellow flag. There's no red flag. There's no maybe flag. There's no I'll think about a flag. It's just yeses. It's yeses or it's cow offers. I can't make this day, but how about this day, which is still in the yes category because it's actually nailing down when you're going to take a woman out. If you're not getting that, sorry to say, guys, as much as you want it to be a yes, as much as you want to think her interest level is there, at the end of the day, High interest level truly, truly does cut everything. And the sooner you're able to recognize that, you'll actually be doing yourself a service because no longer will you sit there for months on end with a woman that's been giving you maybes and giving you false hope for things. You'll just know, oh, I've asked this woman out like three times. She keeps saying maybe or fleeting last minute. Oh, she's not highly interested. I should move on to somebody else. And you'll cut the time that you would spend with time wasters and you can focus more on doing the things you need to do to get the women that come into your life and want to be all yeses. Now, I will say even with that, obviously, if you meet women that are highly interested, there's still a chance you could lose them if you're not careful and aren't sure of what things you need to do in the dating process to actually keep them around. That's why I got materials and programs at introvertdatingsuccess.com that you can check out to get an edge up on how to actually keep women interested long term. But suffice to say, guys, yeah, if they're highly interested, you're never going to have to wonder about if they're interested. Unless, of course, you don't know what signals to look for, in which case, I also got programs and audio on my website so you can learn that stuff as well. But uh, I'm glad I got to answer this question. Hopefully, this helps you out in your dating journey. And for the rest of you, if you have questions you want to answer, uh, answer to one of these shows, you can write to me at harry at introvertdatingsuccess.com. You can also leave comments down below or under any of my videos. I always check to see what you guys want me to talk about. Thanks for listening, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace. We'll